okay, and by the time you're graduating, you're pulling up in a Benz with AMG rims and you're you're wearing mean coats and you're just doing the most. Yeah, I was doing the most this. That's what I was doing. I mean, that's what you do. It's new money. You want everybody to know you got it. So when I graduated from college, uh, I went to my college graduation in my own AMG Benz with a mink coat. The car was completely paid for. Uh, you couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't hit me in the ass with a red apple, even though my AMG Benz was red. Mm. You know, I was 22 and I had a 29-year-old girlfriend and I was living a good life. You know, that's, that's, that's the truth. Okay. So now you graduate. And now you're a full-time drug dealer. Absolutely. Never went to pick up my diploma or nothing. I'm, I'm all in. All in. When do you get the bigger plug? That came years later. Uh, I never inspired to be a kingpin or nothing like that. It grew organically. It's just, it was, if you think about it, when I finished college, I had at least $100,000 cash. So I'm rich. I had, I had no aspiration to be no millionaire. I'm already rich. I got the car I want. I live downtown Chicago. I got mink coats. I got Maury shoes. I got Barbara Bates leather outfits. I got North B leather outfits. Uh, I'm, I'm rich. Even though I know it's guys over much larger than me, I found out later there's levels to it. But in my mind, I was content. Okay. And a couple of years later, you actually get a bigger pluck. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be what I became. I was just, you know, that's a lot of money still to have. Uh, where I'm living, the cars I'm driving, the women I'm dating, the clothes I'm wearing. It was to me, to me, I was, I was, I was the man. I was the shit, but I wasn't. I was just, I was in the way, really. <laughs> hmm. Okay, and then your plug actually came from the Mexican cartel. That's true. How did that plug come together? Uh, I talk about that in my book where uh, a guy who I was dealing with, he um, he ended up getting murdered and I ended up inheriting it uh, through a, a bunch of layers of things, you know what I'm saying? Just it happened and uh, I go into great detail about it uh, where uh, initially, I think, I want to say initially they, they got 50 keys from them or something like that. Initially, that's like right off the top. They, they gave me 50 keys, in front of me 50 keys. And uh, I want to make sure I tell the story correct. No, I, the first time I seen them, I think I got 200 keys. It was either 50 or 200. I can't remember right off the top of my head right now. It was a substantial amount of drugs. That's for sure. Well, how much were keys going for back then? In Chicago, like 17,000. Okay. So 200 keys times 17,000 to about $3.4 million. Yeah. Someone just gave you $3.4 million and said, we really hope that you bring this money back or else. That's what happened, yes. Because if you don't bring it back, there's going to be massive repercussions. Oh, uh, you're going to have to answer. Right. You and everyone you know. That's for sure. Okay. 